Okay, so another day, another challenge. So I have got another maths and another word of the day challenge for you. I'm going to do slightly different challenges next week, but I'm hoping you're enjoying solving these maths problems with me. Um, I just thought it could just be a standalone thing that we do extra. So let's get to it. You, I've, oh, I've also, for your learning pack two, I've actually given you a separate daily challenge pack to go with your learning pack. So feel free, I've left gaps. Do all your working out on there, keep that pack handy, and you can hand it in to me when you collect your next pack so I can see your fantastic work. Let's do this challenge together. I'm just looking outside because it is snowing a lot outside um, and it's very exciting. My daughter was very excited this morning to say it was snowing. Um, but yeah, I just can't, call, I can't stop looking outside because it's just so nice. Look at it, the snow drifting down, so beautiful outside. Right, I'm going to stop talking about snow. Here we go, maths, maths hat on. Which multiples of seven can be used in both gaps? 85, take away something is less than 36. 45, add something is less than 115. So you need to find the multiples of seven that you could use in both at the same time. So it has to be the same for both. And it says multiples of seven, so we know there's more than one answer. So good luck with this year six. Pause it, get your pack out, have a go, and I'll go through the answers in a moment. Good luck, see if you can solve it. Okay, you should have figured it out by now. I'm hoping you're feeling proud. Um, I had to do a lot of trial and error for this. I, like I made a list of you know which ones would work and I had to keep working it out and see which ones wouldn't. Um, I'm interested to know what tactics you used. Did you estimate? Did you do trial and error like me as well? Let's have a little look. Yeah, there's the question small, so just if we don't forget it. So I wrote a list of all the multiples of seven um, up to 12 times seven. So seven, 14, 20, 20, 20, 20, all the way across. And then I did some figuring out with trial and error. So I started in the middle. So I started off with 85 take away 63 equals 22. 22 is less than 36, so it works. Then I have to check it in the other box. 45 add 63 is 108. 108 is less than 115. So it works for both. Hooray! So you can see at the top here, I've underlined 63 because 63 is a multiple of seven that can be used in both gaps. Um, the other number, the other multiple I found was the multiple 56. Um, 85 take away 56 is 29. 29 is less than 36. And then um, 45 add 56 is 101, 101 is less than 115, so yay, it worked. So the two multiples of seven that I found that could be used in both gaps was 56 and 63. Now, what I also did to make sure I wasn't missing any is I just kept checking. So I checked 49, so the next multiple down after 56 is 49, so I tried 49 over here. 85 take away 49 equals 36 exactly. So if I put 49 here, that would not be a less than sign. It would be an equal sign. So it can't be 49. So I put a cross here, doesn't work. 42 doesn't work either. That's it because 43, 85 take away 42 is 43. 43 is more than 36. So that doesn't work either. So it can't be any of those multiples now. It can't be any of them. So then I checked the multiple 70, just to double check if that one would work. 85 take away 70 is 15. 15 is less than 36, so maybe, maybe. Then I did, why have I put 85 here? How silly. I did 45 add 70, excuse me, it says 85, but we know I'm supposed to put 45. 45 add 70, okay. What is 40? I'm going to have to do it now. I feel like, um, <laughs> so 70 add 30 is 100. Okay, um, what was it? Was it 45? Yeah, 45 
Um, so adding the 15. So it equals 115. Yes, yeah, so my, my answer's right. I just miswrote this bit. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm not recording this again either. We're five minutes in, so we'll just have to em embrace the mistake, children. Um, so 45 add 70 is 115. Again, that wouldn't be a less than sign. It would be equal. So it can't be that I put a little cross there. It's wrong. Also, that's wrong. That really annoys me that that's wrong. It's supposed to say 115. <sighs> So the two multiples I got were 56 and 63. I hope you did well um, as well. Let me know if you managed to solve that. Oh, and I wrote it as a sentence. The multiples of seven that can be used in both boxes are 56 and 63. I love a good sentence at the end. Maybe you should start writing in sentences as well at the end, just so you understand what you have done. Okay. So the word of the day today is the word quirky. I love the word quirky. Um, it means something is quite odd or unpredictable. Um, I like this synonym for the word quirky because I think quirky is quite a positive thing. If someone's quirky, it means they're eccentric. It means that they're unpredictable, a bit different. Okay, so I like to use it in the positive one. There's some phrases here, unique and quirky. So it's like a thing that's personal to you and only you. Um, it's part of your identity, your quirks. Um, so this is what I'd like you to do with the word of the week, quirky. I want you um, to make me, I'm just realising you can't see that. Oh, no. There we go. I'm realising you can't see the top. There we go. Now you can see the top. I want you to make me a lovely poster or a lovely mind map of all your quirks. Okay, so what are your quirks? What's quirky about you? What's unpredictable? What's eccentric? What's unique only to you? Um, well, not only to you, but do you know, you know what I mean? Like it's not predictable just by looking at you. So here's some of my quirks I'm going to share with you all. How delightful. Uh, first one, I have a really tiny little toe. It's... <laughs> It's really small. So my other toes are just kind of like normal, you know, just whatever. And then this, this tiny little toe I have is really small. So that's something that's quirky about me and my appearance. I have a really tiny toe. Uh, something else, uh, more of a personal taste. Uh, I love Pokemon. Um, so on average, a 29-year-old woman would not be as obsessed with Pokemon traditionally, or uh, I'm obsessed with it. I grew up with Pokemon. I love Pokemon. I even have Pokemon themed household items um, that my husband doesn't really uh, <laughs> like. So, like, I have a Bulbasaur, Plant Pop, things like that in my house. Um, so, that's a quirk about me. Uh, another quirk I can flare my nostrils. Um, that's something that not everyone can do. Um, I can also do the eye trick. I think I've shown you it all before as well when I do the eyes like this. It's just silly things like that and I can flare my nostrils. Yeah, just silly things like that. That's a quirk that I have. Um, a final quirk is um, I am at one with nature. <laughs> okay, dogs love me. I'm like an animal person. Like all dogs just vibe around me and just swoon and fall in love with me when they see me. Um, so I'm really good with animals. Um, it's one of the reasons that I did zoology as my degree. Like from a very young age, I have been obsessed with animals and animals seem to always interact with me really well. Um, I am the queen of animals. So that is my quirk. Um, I'm really interested to know what quirks you guys have. Um, and I would love for you to send me in your mind maps or your posters all about your quirks.